So in this class, we need to consider our exchange rates, uh, which is important again. Uh, working with exchange rates, uh, we are going to notice that um, we use these to convert, uh, that is in terms of currents, one currents to another. Uh, let us just say we are given uh, the US dollar uh, compared to the rand. So it is a conversion that is taking place. Uh, this one, we see it uh, actually on a daily basis. Each and every day, you're supposed to actually understand what is happening between the red uh, in terms of the currencies. So we can use a basic idea of... Uh, just like what we had when dealing with the, the, the rate, it's, it's still the same thing, only that it's exchange rate. But what is it that you are referring? That's the same thing. So conversions can be made from one to another. So I want to see how to answer these typical questions as we are given here that given the exchange rate of $1 equal to 10,4 seven rand that is the rate that we are given the exchange rate for each dollar that is what it means for each dollar you are going to obtain what you are going to obtain 10,47 rand for each that is what it means so the question here is how many runs will you get for 50 dollars how many runs are you going to get for fifty dollars? If one is ten comma, what about for fifty? How many are you going to get? So you simply have to multiply. If one, guys, rate is per each unit one corresponds to ten comma four seven. If it is two, you have to multiply. If it is three, you multiply. If it is four, you multiply, and so on and so on. That, that, that is the case of our, our, our question in the, uh, that we are given here. You simply have to multiply. So meaning to, to say uh, for $50, we are going to have the product. It is going to be worthy 50 times 10,47. 10,47. You have to multiply. So let me just put equal to here. So for fifty dollars, you are going to multiply. Uh, that is uh, simply uh, use your calculator, guys, for the calculations. Uh, fifty times ten comma four seven. I was going to give us something like uh five hundred and twenty three point five uh zero. So you have to put a zero in dealing with money. Uh, two decimal places, all right? In our mathematics, we use two decimal places. Uh, okay, so you have to be careful on your presentation. That is the condition. It's something that you can read like, one is this. So what about two? What about three? What about four? What about 50? You simply have to multiply by, by 50. Or we can use it as a proportion, all right? We can work this one as a proportion to say, uh, that's another way of answering this question, as a proportion. If one is equal to 10,47, when we are referring to $50, it must be the dollars are supposed to be under the dollars here. So we are going to say, what about $50? It is equal to what? You do not know. All right? So you can call this X. What you want to calculate is under the rand. Take note, you are calculating under the, the rand. And you do not know how many runs are you going to have. So you can just call it what? X, since you do not know this. Then calculate X. How do you calculate X? Uh, on this exchange that you're given, it is corresponding, guys. If one is 10 like this, 50 is going to be more. So it is a direct proportion. 
So a direct proportion, I said you cross multiply to obtain your answer. So it's going to be like this. This one multiplies this side. There's an increase, direct proportion. When one is increasing, another one is increasing also. So that's direct. If one is decreasing, another one will be decreasing. They won't be. One is going up, another one is going down. They will be at the same time. That is the condition when you are given a certain exchange rate that you are using for that particular day. That is what it means. So you cross multiply. X multiplies 1. So it was going to be X is equal to 50 times this one. So as you can see, guys, that's 50 times 10,47, where this X is under the, the rand. So we are going to obtain our answer in what? In runs. Just like that. Just like that. So on your calculator, you're going to obtain 523,5. But you are dealing with the money, then you put a zero there. So that is the equivalent for what? For $50, we are going to obtain 523,50 rand. Just like that. So using this idea that we have here, we can even answer this one that is following. All right, the answer. You can even answer this other question that is following to say, uh, this time, all right, uh, that is part B. They are saying, how many dollars will you get for 50 rand? What are you given? You are given the, the rand here, this side, 50 rand. That is the one that you are given. How many dollars? We do not know. All right? We do not know. So you can just call it X. You can just call it X. Just like what we had previously, if 1 is 50, is 10,47, 50 will give us a bigger value also. It's going to be an increase. It's a direct proportion, this one. So we cross multiply again, just like what we had. So it's going to be X times 10,47. Okay, if you cross multiply, so it's going to be x like this, which is equal to 1 times 50, which is 50. 1 times 50, that's 50. Ignore the, these units. You use them at the end. You know that x is under dollars, so your answer is what? Dollars. You need to calculate x. It's a product. Remember, when you're solving your equations in uh, grade 8, a product like this one, you divide. So you're going to divide by 10,47, divide by 10,47. These basic guys, you know them from your grade 8 equations. So that's it. This is X that you're going to have. So dividing these two, you're going to obtain uh, the amount which is equivalent in what? In dollars to two decimal places. Okay, let me bring the calculator here, guys. Um... Let's have our calculator. So in this case, we have uh, 50 over what? That's over or just divided by. Okay, you can even use this division, this one, all right? 10,47. So that's it. Uh, just change this as, the, as a decimal. We are going to have 4,775, uh, five, five, like that. Remember, we are dealing with the money, so we're going to convert to two decimal places, which is going to change. So it's going to be 4, 7, 8. Or you can use your calculator to change this, all right? Shift, go to the setup here. Number 6, which is fix this one. On number 6, you want to, you want how many decimal places? These are decimal places. We want 2, so we're going to press 2. Okay, so we change... Here, as you can see, you, we are having what? 4,78. So that's 4,78. This is what we have. So how many dollars? We are referring to the what? The dollars in that case. So this is the equivalent. 4,78 uh, dollars for that uh, 50 rent that you are given. It is going to correspond it is going to correspond to what? $4,78. That's, that's the idea of uh, exchange rates, guys. Just try to 
work out as many questions you can even by just looking into the question you don't even need to go through all these calculations yeah, but for the sake of revision you can do that in 2010 the following exchange rates applied right these exchange rates as you can see there are two the dollar compared to the rand and also you've got the pound compared to the to the rand one dollar seven comma five three rand one pound twelve comma five two rand so the question is how many pounds take note how many pounds can you get from fifty dollars the rate is not giving us a relationship between the pound and all right sorry for this one so look what i was saying here this rate it does not it is not giving us a relationship between these two but they want you to obtain one from another the what look what you are given it is the dollar to the rand the pound to the rand we do not have a conversion that is given to say one dollar is equal to how many pounds we do not have that so what are we going to do it is us we supposed to change one of these to another okay as we have a relationship here that is for the pound what is the relationship it is related with what the rand so it is easier if we have this amount in what in runs we can easily convert because there's a relationship there so we have to convert these 50 dollars first to runs because we that is where we have a relationship which can be converted to what to the pounds okay so first uh convert Oh, change. Okay, just change. Exchange uh, $50 to what? To runs. So let's see. For each dollar, remember, you are told that each dollar is equivalent to what? It is equivalent to 7,53 runs. What about $50? How many runs are we going to have? Guys, it, this one is just a direct proportion. One is to one. One is to, like, one is to seven. So what about if 50? You just have to multiply. If it is one is to 10, you multiply by that one. So 50 corresponds to what? You just have to multiply. So there, guys, we are simply going to multiply uh, 7,53 times what? Times 50. Just like that. This will be the in what in runs. You multiply these two, or if you do not understand this, you are going to use what that part that I was explaining of using x. All right, that's another way. So multiply guys and get the answer. Uh, let me explain another way. Or we said in this case, it's an increase for an increase. So that's a direct proportion. So you can cross multiply. This multiplies here. This multiplies here. So as you can see, guys, x times one. That's x is equal to 50 times what 50 times 7,53 so as you can see the same thing same part as we had same part so it can be like that all right so let's multiply uh these two remember we have fixed our calculator now to two decimal places so whatever that we are going to have will be to two decimal places 50 times uh, seven comma five three like this so that is it is going to give us three hundred and uh three hundred and seventy six comma five zero all right so that is it is going to be three hundred remember it was three hundred and seventy six comma five zero two two decimal places this is not our solution, remember, this is the first exchange. Then convert to the one that you are given. Okay? So that's the first thing. Then convert to what? 
then exchange to to the pounds all right then exchange to to the pounds okay that is the case so we can have a conversion because there is a relationship between pounds and the rand each pound that we are given is equivalent to our main rand it is equivalent to 12.52 what about for this amount that we are given in rands what about that amount for this amount of 376.50 uh, what is the equivalence in what in pounds you do not know so simply there we're going to to divide these two get your answer all right so simply you're going to divide 376.5 over 12.52 or you can use the cross multiplication just like I was saying. You can introduce x here. If one is equal to 12, this one is supposed to be more also. That, that's a direct proportion. So you cross multiply like this. So that's x times 12,52, which is 12,52x is equal to 376,50 uh, times 1, which is just 1. Uh, the zero there is not even important. Yes, you can write it, but it's not uh, an effect when you're calculating. It is important when you're writing the final answer. But when calculating, you can even remove it like that. All right. So divide by 12,52. Remember, that's an equation where you need to, to solve for x. Divide by 12,52 both sides. That was x. As you can see, the same division that I was explaining here which is something that you can easily see by sight. You can see, okay, this is, the, this is it. But if you do not understand, guys, introduce this X. Solve it that way. Just like you're solving your equations, you are used to these equations, guys, from your grade 8. You are used to these equations, linear equations. All right? So that was going to give us, uh, all right, that's, uh, let's divide. Okay, so you're going to have a fraction... Uh, that's three seven six comma five. Uh, you can put the zero does not affect. All right, divided to twelve comma divided by twelve comma five two, like this. All right, that was going to give us thirty point uh zero seven. So that's thirty uh point zero seven. Remember, you are converting now to the to the pounds. So whatever that we are given, which was in dollars before it is equivalent to this now in pounds but we have to convert first to the what to the rand because of the conversion that we are given we do not have direct conversion from pounds to dollars or from dollars to pounds it is dollars to rand pound to rand so in that type of a question, exchange one to another, then you can convert uh, to the one that you are being asked in your in your question. So meaning to say uh, that was going to be our equivalent in uh, for fifty dollars, you were going to obtain uh, thirty point zero seven pound, just like that. So let's do revise, guys. As many questions, just try to figure out. How do they ask these questions? We are going to work uh, with question papers so that we try to figure out uh, how do they ask these questions, try to uh, attempt as many questions as we can uh, for our term one. Uh, so try by all means, add as many questions from here. Work with your textbooks. There are so many examples that you are given in your textbooks. So try to work out as many questions where there's a challenge. Uh, let us know on the comment section. Till we meet again.